What's up, y'all? So I wanted to talk about the three things that have been helping me stay motivated and achieve my goals a little quicker in this season of life. I was talking to my wife this morning after doing my devotionals and watching like some motivational YouTube stuff. And I was just like, I just been really encouraged, you know, these past couple of weeks. But I was going through and I was trying to figure out like, what is it in this, this season that's really been helping me, you know, kind of overcome and push past some of the things that's really been like barriers for me. So the first thing I say that's been really helpful is learning how to fail faster. So just by nature, I'm a very like thoughtful, intentional, strategic person, which has served me really well over the years in different ways. Like it helps me in conversation sometimes to not, you know, accidentally offend somebody. It helps my wife and I with trying to budget and, you know, kill off debt. But sometimes it can also slow down the progress of certain things that really don't need that type of deep thought. And additionally, sometimes it can perpetuate fear to move on a particular decision because you don't know how it's gonna play out. And so case in point with me even wanting to do like the Patreon that I have set up, that was something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I just overthought it, maybe thought people wouldn't you know, want to participate in it. And even just the idea of like kind of crowdfunding for me, like asking for money and stuff like that. Um, you know, I had to change my mindset on it because some people do want to give and if people don't, you know, it's, it's all good. You know what I mean? Like it's not the end of the world. And I could just, you know, take it down or shift or do something different, you know, quickly and just figure out, oh, that was a bad idea. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, that was my first point. My second point would be uh, realizing that my voice matters. So I was watching, uh, not watching, I was listening to a podcast with Johnny Swim and uh, the wife of the duo, Amanda, she's a type nine on the Enneagram, just like me, uh, which is the Peacemaker uh, Enneagram type. And it was, it was interesting because the moderator made a point where um, type nines can typically uh, feel as if their voice doesn't matter. So if there's a, a situation where they feel like they have some input, they'll usually, um, or have the, they can have the tendency to defer to you know other people in the room and take a back seat and just kind of let them do their thing. And so, you know, I can identify with that where I've, I've seen and felt like, you know, I may not weigh in or speak up about certain things or put myself out there because like, you know, somebody, you know, might not really want to hear it or whatever, whatever. But, he, you know, even me doing these videos is in two part, one, me just want to give back to my creative community, but also just giving me the courage to, you know, put myself out there, put information out there, whether people want it or not. And I really feel like the right people and somebody can get some benefit from it. So, so yeah, knowing that your voice has value, you know, whoever you are. The last thing I want to talk about, which I feel like has really been pushing the bar for me, is routinely feeding myself the right things to think about. So the songwriting course that I'm looking to take uh, is by a lady named Kathy Heller, and she made a good um, statement that I thought was um, that I thought was something really to take heed on. And what she said was basically this: you know, we tend to have no problem with agreeing that we need to feed our natural bodies every day. We need to eat, we need rest, like these are kind of non-negotiable things, right? But when it comes to our mind, you know, we think that if we have a good mind state, that that's an automatic thing. Like, you know, we wonder why our minds, you know, tend to drift into negative thoughts. And so in the same way, we have to take care of our, you know, our natural bodies physically, we have to, um, discipline or have the discipline of feeding our minds the right things and so my morning routine looks like you know I get up I shower um, I'm listening to the audio Bible I'll listen to you know I'm listening to some like some motivational stuff on YouTube and I'm spending time in prayer just realigning my thoughts towards the day um, sharing and saying things that I'm, I'm grateful for even if, if it's the smallest thing and it goes a long way like it really helps align you uh, for the rest of the day, which I've known, but I think just doing it a bit more consistently, I've been seeing it uh, be super helpful in this season. So that's it. Uh, this video is like five minutes now. I always try to make them shorter, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Let me know if you can relate to that or if you have anything to add to it. And as always, if you want to join me on our Patreon community, um, you can go to Just Arise. Uh, you can go to justarise.com backslash support or you go to patreon.com slash justarise, either one. All kind of dope perks on there, exclusive, you know, information updates and stuff. 
and it helps your boy. So I appreciate your support. So yeah, that's it, y'all. That's all I got. Until next time, let me know what else you want me to talk about. This is my wife's plant.